Okay, we talked about the ceiling diffuser and how it works with cooling. Now we're going to talk about the floor diffuser. Now, things get a little backwards here when you're using a floor diffuser for cooling because the cold air wants to go down compared to the warmer air in the structure. And so having the diffuser on the floor in a way defeats the purpose, kind of like the ceiling diffuser defeated the purpose for heating. Uh, let's look at this one. It's below a window. Yes, it is snowing outside. We're not cooling. And that's where it should be. But let's look at what would happen when the air comes out of that diffuser and where it goes. Now, when we look at this air coming out of here, it's going to be cold, so it's not going to try to go to the ceiling. Okay, he's going to be coming through this window. It's going to convect through it. This cold air is going to kind of go up like this and kind of drift. And it may be drawn up a little bit by this heat moving up, but it's not really counteracting the heat like we'd like it to. So floor diffusers are not the best for cooling. Couple that with what is probably very common. Somebody does that, makes it worse. But that's true for heating or cooling. Can't do that for uh, ceiling diffusers. But the floor diffuser is not as good at cooling as a ceiling diffuser. Now what we've got here is kind of a little problem we developed, isn't it? If I have ductwork that puts floor diffusers in for heat, and I have a cooling system too, uh, it's not going to work perfect for both of them. And if I have ceiling diffusers, it'd work good for cool, but not for heat. So, which, which way should we do it? Well, the answer to that has a lot to do with construction. Uh, there may only be one way you can do it. A lot of houses built on slabs, uh, no way to put it to floor. It can be done when the house is built, but if it isn't, you're stuck with putting them in the ceiling. And that's all you can do. So the construction can eliminate what you know some of the things you can do. What my criteria would be if you have the options, if you live in an area that is primarily heat is needed for the largest part of the uh, year, put them on the floor. If you live in an area where cooling is the primary, I put it on the ceiling. The ceiling diffuser for heat, and I've told you it wasn't so good because it drops down about that three foot level and then there's quite a bit of stratification. It's, it's not the best way to do it, but if you don't need a lot of heat, it's probably okay. It'll probably work. If you need a lot of heat, it's probably not going to work. And you're going to have a lot of people with cold feet. So, what would be the best solution? Put in both. A cooling system on the ceiling, heating system on the floor. Not an option in most cases. Uh, there's a few places you could do it, but uh, it's usually not an option. So, you're going to have to choose that on whether you want heat to work best or cooling to work best. Okay, that's it on uh, ceiling and floor diffusers.